Hey, losers. Welcome back. Have you ever been approached by young punks asking for donations? Rhetorical question? The answer is yes. Oh, countless times. Countless times have I been approached by these little rascals guilt tripping me into donating for, I don't know, Helping Hands Foundation. Hey, I have no qualms about donating to charity if I have the means to do so. But the charity had better be a reputable one or one that at least exists. Yes, that's right, nerds. Today, we're going to be looking into the world of donation scams with one of my favorite favorite shows. Yes, you already know what it is. It's Crime Watch, baby. Wow, wow, wow. So the episode starts with a group of friends hanging out at a void deck and someone has to tell me the location of this void deck because goddamn is it happening? What's going on here? A void deck party? Why are there so many people here? Is this a Singaporean gang recruitment center? Oh, oh, this could be a parallel universe. Jin Seung is probably just off screen recruiting Melvin. I mean, Meowvin. Meow. Anyway, among this group of friends, two boys by the name of, um, let's see, Joe Kim and Dexter are in the midst of looking for a part-time job. So our two handsome lads decided to call in and apply for the job. And we cut to the secretary, who is apparently just staring at a blank screen. Come on, Jennifer. Jennifer. At least pretend to do work. Ugh, Jennifer. What a slacker. So the boys made it down to the office for the interview and what do you know? Look what Jennifer's been doing for the past two hours. He wrote two miserable lines on a word document. Oh. Whoa! Such productivity! Jennifer, what the fuck man? Do, do you want to get fired? Do you not love your job? <sighs> if I'm being honest, this has got to be the laziest secretary ever. Pretending to type on a keyboard. Staring at a blank screen? <sighs> oh, unacceptable. Jennifer, the slacker, then bring the boys to meet the head hunter of the company. Gentlemen, I'm Francis. And my god, does he look like he's about to pitch me an e-commerce growth hack plan? I mean, Crime Watch got their casting spot on for Francis. He looks exactly like a pro con artist. No, fuck off, Francis. Fuck off. No, I don't want to learn how you earn $20,000 a month from your living room. Hi, I'm Francis. I'm sorry if there are any of you Francis-us? Francis-us? I'm sorry if there's a flock of you Francis watching this video, but um, you kind of have a scammer's name. We're having a training session in about an hour's time. I'll tell you more then. So then the boys accepted the invitation to this sales promoter training session and um, oh hey, look who decided to finally do their job. Jennifer. And that's it, she's probably going out to stare at her screen again. Any questions? So we give vouchers in exchange for donations? Good question. We don't collect donations, so don't ever use the word donation. Show them the pictures. What if some police officer come after us? Damn, he, he just banged the table to ask a question. What? Damn, what an alpha. If only I had the balls to assert my dominance like that. Hey, can I get two McChicken meal upsize, please? Hey, hey, two McChicken meal upsize, please. Hey, my friend joined this company before. Very good money. No questions? I've been selling and good luck. So the training session ends, but oh no, Dexter's spidey senses are tingling and he senses something awry. I don't feel good. S something like, something like not right eh. But Joakim manages to convince Dexter and we cut to the next scene where these guys are looking for donations. Either that or they are about to engage in a gang fight. Thank Welcome. you. Hey yeah. miss, do you want to help poor people? What is this? Where are you from? Uh, we are from this company. Tendering events and marketing. It's just $10. dollars you make their lives a lot better. Uh, I don't think so. It's just $10. It's for a good cause. Yeah, it's... Get your hair away from your eyes, miss. How do you even go about your day with your fringe covering half your face? It's no wonder these kids picked on you. They prey on the vulnerable, the visually impaired. That's quite smart of them, actually. She couldn't have seen them coming with her limited field of vision. This is for you. What's this for? Um, it's just a gift for you. Thank you. Thank you. And off goes the victim of this wicked scam. You can tell from her expression that she feels defeated, exploited, and full of regret for not asking her hairstylist for bangs instead. And then we cut to the next scene where the alpha of the pack is hunting solo. Let's see how he executes his plan of attack. 
you. Yes. Can you sit over here? These are poor people. And they're not as lucky as you. You can help by giving some money. Oh. That's so precious. Poor kid. He looked so happy just five seconds ago. He probably just came back from meeting his Maple Story girlfriend. Come on, li leave little Xavier alone. He's having the time of his life right now and he doesn't want to deal with this shit. All he wants to do is go home and play Maple Story. Two dollars only. You keep a minimum of ten dollars. I give you a voucher. Whoa, what's this? A coordinated ambush attack? These young punks are smarter than I thought. Xavier doesn't stand a chance. He's trapped. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Poor Xavier. <laughs> you keep a minimum of $10, I give you a voucher. Sorry, but just so much money. <laughs> you sure or not? $10 you don't have. Hello. Really not? Sure. That's special. I give you a voucher. Now he doesn't have enough money to buy his Maple Story prepaid cards. What's he gonna do with spa vouchers? Another victim ravaged by these hunters. And a cup, no less. Okay, let's tune in to see how our newbie hunters are doing. Hi sir, would you like to help the poor by supporting the charity carrying deeds? May I see your pass? What? Oh, uh oh, looks like they've got a fighter. Very poor choice of prey selection by our noob hunters. This is an adult male with clear field of vision and he has ample space to make his escape. Very bad choice of prey. This is going to be tough for them to pull off. Let's see how they do. How will the donations be used? They'll be used to help the poor. Is that so? Yes. Now, if I were to give you $10, how much of it will go to charity? Do you know? So, no one actually told us about that. We do not know. How can you not know? Oh, oh, what a turn of events. The prey is actually fighting back. Mind-blowing. Wow, what a spectacle to behold. Even passers-by are shook at this turn of events. Let's see what our amateur hunters decide to do next. Oh, gripping. Can you not know? The money given to you could be misused. Have you ever thought of that? Sir, we are just doing something good. We believe that the money will go into helping them. Do you know that you need a license to collect funds for charity? Sir, this is the license? No, this is not a license. Oh, our hunters stand no chance against this quick-witted opponent. No, this is not a license. Do you even have a license? What's the name of the organization you're helping? No, sir, it's called Caring Deeds. Caring Deeds. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Caring Deeds? Never heard of it. Never heard of it. A round of applause for our star-studded prey. He escaped the clutches of his predators with such grace and elegance. What? You're looking for a donation? Never heard of it. Um, well, to be fair, he probably had a lot of training since young because... <laughs> I don't know, he looks like every teacher's worst nightmare. You know, the kind of student who would argue and debate about everything with the teacher. Alright, thank you for coming in today. It's the end of the class. You are now dismissed. End of the class? Never heard of it. Do you even have a license to end this class? What's your name? Professor Lee? Never heard of it. So anyway, the boys go home feeling humiliated and defeated and they report to the company's HQ the following day. Kaysiang brought in $40 and Leroy brought in $50. So that makes a total of... 90. Yes, 90. It took you that long to add 50 and 40 together? Oh, Jennifer. Anyway, Francis the snake isn't too happy about the amount that our newbie hunters collected and he decides to impart some wisdom to them. So, what can we do to collect more? If you can't tell a sad story, you just have to shake people up. Well, what do you mean? I mean doing all you can to get people to give. Now obviously this is where Joachim and Dexter start to have doubts about this whole donation scheme. Can't believe it. How could a company working for a charity even suggest forcing people to give money? Looks like you were right. I think they're doing something illegal. Should we make a police report? And then the boys went on to make a police report and um, that's where the episode ends. Good job boys for staying vigilant and not succumbing to the greed of money.
Thank you guys for watching this episode of NetGeo's Scammers in the Wild. I hope you are now more aware of these donation scams. And always remember to cut your fringe to allow for a wider radius of scam detection. Not to go into narrow walkways when there are more comfortable paths just one meter away. And if you are certain that you are approached by one of these illegitimate charity organizations, just grab their license, have a good look at it, find their company's name, and say, Never heard of it. Thanks for watching. And oh yeah, also thanks for 100k subscribers. What? What? A hundred thousand of you watching my shit? Mind blowing. But um, really, thank you guys so much for all the support. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, see you next week.